Hello everybody, it's Dave Neal, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Recap, a guy's review, hometown edition, ASMR version. I'm at a lounge in Taipei, Taiwan, returning from the great country of Indonesia, and I'm going to be recording this with a whisper because it's the quiet section and it's very late in the evening here. But it's morning time for the East Coast, so let's get right into it. Now, as you guys know, I like to take notes, read them back to you, no edits, no jump cuts. But today's a little different because, obviously, I'm without my normal resources. So I'm just going to read some snippets that we have here because I think what's more important is hearing what you guys have to say in the comments section. The Bachelor recap, hometown heartbreak. Zach shall cross, shall cross many a state line this week to meet the families of the final four women. All right, here it is. Four women still in the running. Now it's down to three. Let's get there. First, he heads to Vermont. Why? Because no one... You know, Vermont has to go first. It's one of the 13 colonies. And, um, you know, I have no other real excuse as to why it should go first. But here we are. All right. He heads to Vermont to meet up with Gabby. And, of course, if it doesn't work out with Zach, Gabby can always go after maybe a Blake Moynes, as some has speculated. He's from Canada, which is essentially Vermont North. Announces the pair will embark on the fur full maple experience of a lifetime. Now listen, let me tell you something. I've been on maple syrup tours before. There is not much to see there. It's not that fascinating. But here we are, nonetheless. By the way, the lounge is offering free beer, which is nice. Okay, with no tree sapping the fun out of their date, Gabby stages a blind maple syrup taste test for Zach to try a whole array of Vermont's best. There's a hidden catch. One of the condiments is fake maple syrup. Okay, so, I know Reality Steve tweeted he doesn't know if he's been having fake maple syrup or not. Most maple syrup that you buy in the store is actually corn syrup. Uh, real maple syrup always comes in that kind of maple syrup colored uh, you know, the standardized maple syrup, uh, you know, case. It's kind of like a same thing that, like, whiskey looks like when it comes in it. Okay. I don't even know if you guys can hear this, but this is as loud as I'm willing to go. <laughs> you just shot me, Gabby shouts. This is fake. The bottom of the barrel, worst syrup you can buy. She reveals the concoction was pancake syrup. Oh, like they said, high fructose corn syrup. Ew, threw up in my mouth. Nothing that a maple purist like Gabby could ever endorse. Oh, no, let me tell you something. I would for sure be able to tell the difference between fake maple syrup and real maple syrup. If anyone ever wants to challenge me, just bring some maple syrup to a stand-up show, and I will be the one to tell you the difference. Okay, so anyway, Vermont does what Vermont does, and then what's next here? It looks like, are they in New York City? Next, Zach is taking a bite out of the Big Apple. Yep, they're at Washington Square Park, which is a beautiful park where you can go buy drugs. That's where people go to buy their weed, at least back in the day. All right, they share a kiss, and that's also where they filmed I Am Legend. Uh, if you know that, they filmed that right here. No one cares. Okay. Um, when Zach tells her he's very nervous to meet uh, Ariel's family, she says he really only needs to worry about her brother Bobby, who's protective and previously offered to beat up my exes. Everyone's got that brother, right? As they sip on their cocktails, Zach tells her family's history. It's an incredibly important part of her own identity. You don't know me without knowing my family and their experience as immigrants. Very true. Oh, so here they are trying the pizza. Zach does the fold. She teaches him that. What is she wearing? Like a camouflage dress right there? The, the, what she should have taught him to do is uh, go to the dollar pizza place. This is like nice New York pizza. you got to go to the dollar pizza place where you can put on the hot sauce for free and Parmesan. Okay, so Bobby is a self-described skeptic. Pull Zach aside to ask how it's possible to find love in a short time frame. Uh, and Zach says, I did fall in love in this process. Bobby is everyone's brother. You're a skeptic because it never works out. We all know that. This is not rocket science. Uh, so it all goes downhill when Bobby asks Zach how he plans to reconcile their different backgrounds. Zach replies he doesn't have a specific way in mind be besides that families will make it work. Yikes. Bobby throws down the gauntlet. When's my sister's birthday? <laughs> Zach shakes his head. He presses, if you don't know somebody's birthday, how do you really know a person? 
like, do you know my sister's middle name? Zach sidesteps the question. I would disagree with you on that. All right, so Bobby's already my favorite. Bring Bobby to Bachelor in Paradise. He said, if you love someone and you have that feeling, why don't you have the rest of your relationship or the rest of your life together to get to know the smaller details? Yeah, what's her last name? What does she like to do? You know, whatever. So he whiffs a question from Ariel's dad by suggesting that his final choice is still up in the air when it comes to his current relationships. And anyway, so yeah, Zach's having a rough night. Good for him. Zach then packs up, heads to Georgia, where he reconnects with Charity who invites him to a tailgate with all of her close friends and family. They immediately welcome Zach in, and Charity's dad can be seen smiling at how happy his daughter looks during the meal, which is extra adorable. So they have an emotional lunch. Charity ends up crying during every conversation she has with her dad, mom, and close friends. Um, shares a really lovely moment with her brother, who worries about her getting hurt. I love you so much. I want your happily ever after because you deserve the best. All right, there's a very happy family, or supportive at least. Got the Apple Watch on right there. Heart rates are going up. After the meal, Charity and Zach spend the rest of the evening line dancing before she tells him that she's falling in love with him in an alley outside the bar. I'm going to bed, I'm going to bed probably the happiest girl in America tonight. I can 1,000% see myself engaged to Zach. And he's got other plans. For his final hometown, Zach heads to Austin, Texas, which happens to be Katie's hometown. I thought Katie was from Canada, or is that cat? Ah, uh, whatever. She's only lived there for a few short weeks and could use... All right, so she's new there, and he knows the area. Um, so she teaches him how to build an Ikea bookshelf. Um, okay, very smart. She could have bought a task rabbit, but instead she got Zach. All right, get something out of it, Katie. Then they go to meet her family, which is a big deal for Katie. Because if the mom doesn't approve of Zach, then it's a serious red flag. All right, back in L.A., Zach is panicking ahead of the rose ceremony when Sean Lowe stops by. Okay, Sean, does Sean live at the bachelor mansion by this point? He says, I can see, I can see a future with all four of these women, and I don't want to hurt someone or break their heart, but I have to send one of them home. That's like that standard cop-out. I can see a future. It's like, yeah, they're all amazing women. Of course you can see They look. Fr Gabby looks frozen. She's from Vermont, though. She can handle it. All right. Zach enters the rose ceremony, backed by what can only be described as a Michael Bay soundtrack. Serious moment, visibly nervous. He gives Ariel the rose, then Katie, then Gabby, meaning Charity is going home. She handles a heartbreak gracefully, telling Zach that he doesn't have to apologize as he walks her out. They sit down at yet another tiny bench as Charity begins to cry. I hope you know from my heart that this is the hardest decision I've had to make. I've been sick to my stomach all day. He then concedes that he might be making the wrong decision, to which he replies, no, don't say that. Yeah, seriously, if you're going to break up with somebody, let them feel like it's a breakup. I took a big risk coming here and putting my heart out on the line, and I knew that from at night one, the moment that you spoke, and the moment that I knew it was you, I knew that this experience was going to be something incredible, bittersweet for sure. I know you don't want to hear this from me, but you deserve all the love, and I couldn't give it to you. I'm grateful to know you, says Zach. They share a hug, and Zach waits until the car drives away before he begins crying like the leading man of an old film. So there he is. And uh, that's it, folks. What do you guys think? All that to say, Charity got sent home. Uh, Ariel, Katie, and Gabby are the finalists. Um, no surprises here. Um, my big thing will be seeing how Gabby, Ariel, and Katie handle uh, two of the three going home, and they're all pretty confident. At this point, it's a toss-up, but for me, I've got to get on my flight, uh, leaving in about an hour and a half to Los Angeles, um, about a 15-hour flight. So it's, it's about midnight, Tuesday, no, no, Monday night, no, sorry, 10.35, Tuesday night. This is where it gets confusing. It's 10.35 Tuesday night, but I'm flying east. So I'm actually going to go back in time and arrive at 8 o'clock Tuesday night in Los Angeles. I'm going to check the woman tell all, and then we'll have a recap back in the studio with all the proper microphones and, uh, you know, all that jazz. So you can go catch that there. Bachelor Rush Hour, the podcast, will be up this afternoon. If you can catch Tuesdays, also check that out. And Mondays, 
tons of content for you. I think I have three other YouTube videos I shot yesterday that will be coming up today. So lots of content. I understand this wouldn't, this might not have been the most uh, pleasant uh, technically with the audio here, but please appreciate the hustle, and um, we will see you on the other side of my flight. Goodbye, everybody.